Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome to Builders of Egypt. This is a city building economic strategy game that takes place in Nile Valley and uh, the world of ancient pharaohs of Egypt. So this game, this right now what we're checking out is just a prologue that is free on Steam and you guys can play it as well. And the, the game itself, the proper game is gonna be coming out later this year. But in the prologue we get to check out the first mission or the first uh, mission of the campaign I should say that uh, is gonna be in there when the full game releases and of course there's gonna be also a sandbox now you guys know that I love me city builders so I'm very excited to try this out and play it I played a bit through a tutorial and uh, we're gonna have to go through the tutorial once again but I'm just gonna blaze through it quickly so over here we have campaigns right now we can do a uh, glorious capital of four Kemet is the one we can play uh, over here you can see all the stats over here that we can go through I'll go through that but sandbox you can see it's not available we also have these other missions down here that are locked and not quite available quite yet so for this one the ruler of Upper Egypt, King Narmer, conquered Lower Egypt and united the Kingdom of the Nile. Now the country needs capital. King Aha, Narmer's successor, sends you to Memphis, in a hedge, to sur supervise the construction of this magnificent city, a political, administrative and religious center, which will become home to the royal family. And thanks to its monumental monumentality, which tr will strengthen its authority. Okay, so this is our being condition get a lot of bread bread is kind of for the currency of this game basically you build stuff with bread because the game says you pay your people with bread for them to build stuff for you that's a bit debatable but okay uh bricks we need to export and need to gather some pottery and we need to have 200 people so let's go into this and you're gonna play through it and it's gonna give us a rough idea of how the the whole thing works. Uh, there you can learn all about the first Egyptians and such. That's a lot to read and we're gonna not read that right now. I'm sure, you know, if you want to read that, you can start the game yourself. It's a long time ago this thing is happening. There you go. So this is the stuff that we need to do, as we have seen. So, you can see the map is very pretty. We have a beautiful water. We can zoom out, zoom in quite quite far so this is pretty nice there's the road connection that's the road that people will come in it's you know akin to like old like caesar games where you know villagers always walked in from the side of the map when you built enough houses and then they just settle in because that's how it worked you know back in the old day you just built an empty uh, house and there's gonna be people coming in and moving in probably if you did that today that would be still the case if you told them that it's free which i understand you know, I would love to have a free house if somebody were to give it to me. Anyway, let's stop talking about stupid stuff. And let's go through the stuff. So, bread and beer is our main currency. Up here we have inhabitants and workers. So, first things first, the game wants us to go and build some roads. And the camera isn't very helpful right now. Wow, thanks. Thanks, camera. Appreciate that. I would, I'd just like to build these roads, okay? Thank you. Now I can look at that. Good. So we're gonna we're gonna go down this way. Build these roads that tutorial is gonna tell us to do. And um, after the tutorial is done, we can then go and do stuff on our own. And it's gonna be pretty. Okay. So over here we're gonna build some houses. So let's build some houses, shall we? There you go. And people will be starting to move in right away because you know we build them for them okay so let's continue onwards now it's telling us to demolish some things and we demolish road and we get bread back so the these houses you can see there's people coming in already rushing in uh they also need fire stations because apparently fire in the ancient Egypt was a thing there you go there you go you can use that so, uh, people working in the firehouse, uh, I think they're going to need pay as well. So, we're going to have to pay wages in bread, of course. 
So uh, over here we can uh, we can see we can level up uh, these buildings right now. For these guys to level up, they need access to a well. They also always need access to a road. Otherwise, you know, it's not going to be good enough. So uh, first we're going to build a well for them. You can see there's a circle around the well. I'd probably be building this a bit further over here, but hey, if the game tells me to build it there, I'll do it there. So these guys now will be able to start leveling up because they have access to well. And look at that. The house looks differently. They've, you know, to be honest, I'd rather live in this because this one doesn't have any protection from like two sides over here. Well, this one, it's not going to get too many. Why are you lying on the floor, dude? Who are you? Can we see your name? Oh, a breast space. That name was never kind of something like that. I saw it. So over here, uh, the game wants to us to go ahead and build a clay pit. And in the clay pit, we get clay, as you would imagine. <laughs> and there you go, already somebody's working. And then through that clay stuff, we can then go ahead and uh, build bricks and pottery. Or craft bricks and pottery, I should say. So over here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to build a stockpile. Because all the raw materials first need to go to the stockpile and get stored over there. There's the... There's the man, the myth, the legend, going for it. Hello, Imhotep. Oh, that's totally not a significant name right there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there you go. These guys are going to go over there. We can also right-click on this thing and tell them what exactly we want stored in here. You can see there's a lot of different resources. I don't think we're going to be playing with many of these quite yet. But there's oil, beer, fish, straw, pomegranates, figs. Lettuce, chickpeas, weapons, jewelry, meat, linen, pepper, sandstone, plainstone, limestone, granite, gold, copper, turquoise, flags, barley, reeds, clay, wood, pottery, bricks, and wheat. Plenty of stuff. So, next thing, we're gonna start making some bricks. Because, you know, the goal for us is to export 5,000. So, we're gonna have to do that. Looks like these buildings over here, these houses, have not been settled quite in yet but there's still more people coming out here you know what let's see if the game is gonna allow me no can't can't build anything else right now to the tutorial tutorial we'll build after the tutorial is done i want to connect that road over there just because of you know it annoys me that it's not there okay so next thing we're gonna build a fishing wharf because the houses next thing they need for an upgrade is more food so if you look at this they need access to at least one type of food and I guess food is wheat, meat, fish, lettuce, probably pomegranates and figs as well. Chickpeas, potentially. Pottery, probably not. Pottery is probably not food, is what I would uh, say. So they also need access to phys physicians, dentist and mortuary, temple, booth, court. Two types of temples. To bandstand, what the hell is that? Library, three types of temples, pavilion, and scribe school. Okay, we just paid some wages to our workers. That's fine, you know, gotta pay wages. Okay, so next thing, the game wants us to go ahead and build granary. This is where you stockpile food. So, like this one, uh, I mean, like this this one over here stockpiles um, clay, I think. And this one should stockpile wheat, fish, meat, chickpeas, lettuce, figs, and pomegranates. Which is uh, pretty sweet. And then, which I believe they're going to be bringing in right now. Let's see. We got 200 fish in here. Now, uh, to actually get that to our buildings, to our houses over here, we need to go ahead and we need to build a bazaar. And bazaar is going to then uh, distribute that all over the place. Perfect. And they will be able to go over here and get some food out of that. Now, the Torio is going to soon be done. Next thing, we're just going to go to the region map. And this is our region map right now. So you can see out here is our city. Which is way out there. It's kind of cool. And then we can trade with people. You can see down here there's a lot more settlements. But we can only trade with Abydos right now. So we're going to have to establish a trade route for 200 bread. It's going to cost us. So we're going to open the economy tab over here and uh, we need to go trade bricks, right? So um, 
we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna export bricks so whenever we make some bricks hopefully these guys will come after them and uh, grab them so over here victory conditions and that's I think it there you go that's it for the tutorial good let's go back home and now we have the ability let's uh, slow down a bit to do some more stuff so you're trading trader of the Abydos so you will buy maximum of 1200 bricks this year hey, uh, let me let me pause for a second and you want to buy 700 clay okay so we'll slowly start selling that that thing to them this year so this one is telling us we do not have enough workers for the bazaar so that means we should go ahead and start extending the city and now we should have the ability to just build whatever we want which is pretty also over here we have messages that we have incoming uh, people that's acceptable I don't like the fact that this traveler is going away but hey can I now build the road over here yes we can good I just wanted to connect us and building a road doesn't cost us really anything so people coming in here can now walk properly on that all right let's uh, keep it sped up we have a uh, more developers incoming I guess or no that's the same message we've seen before never mind okay so definitely what we need next is get some more houses and I clicked on the road houses shortcut B all right so we'll get some more of these houses in we're gonna do them oh, I didn't want to do this one like that demolish we got some bread back that's acceptable I want to do them the same we did them before but looks like we can't really do much over here that's okay so let's do this we're gonna need a road to this one there you go plenty of people moving in that's perfect we're gonna get a road out here yeah, uh, I, it annoys me that these roads over here... Oh, that one connected now. Ah, that one wasn't connected. It annoyed me for a second. This one over here doesn't connect. There you go, this one is obnoxious. That one annoys me slightly, but okay. There you go, we have more people coming in. We're gonna need to somehow produce more bread. Now, I'd like to know who are you. You want to buy stuff. Yes, you know, wait for the wares. Have we produced anything over here at this house or this brick maker? Wait, we need straw to produce bricks. Why? Oh, we choose a milestone. Settlement. Nice. Why did the tutorial not tell us that we actually need straw to do this? That's interesting. Now the question is, where do you get straw? I'm guessing probably from farms. Now we have extra workers or extra settlers. Now I don't know if uh, it matters where you put your farms, but uh, we'll soon learn. For now, let's get some farms over, maybe over on this side, shall we? No, we'll not. Okay, you can't build farms over there. Farms near water, potentially. This is very red out here. Where can I build my farms? This is red for the farms. This is red for the farms. Oh. Out here. Oh, farms has to be done on water. Is this how it is? All right, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, definitely want to build some farms over here. Okay, okay, we're going to get some farms over here. Maybe farms will give us some straw. Now, I don't know how the road connection works out here. But uh, let's connect you down here. And let's connect you over here. There you go. So at least these farms now have some road connection. They have no workers. They do produce straw. Look at that. I knew it. Now, I'm guessing all of these workers are way too far away to be able to even work over there. Now, first things first, this side over here uh, definitely needs a well. So, let's get you a well right 
there. Apparently that's not good enough. Can't build a well over there. We'll build a well over here. That should give you a well. That should make you happy. And you guys can then go upgrade. Unless the well needs to be next to the road. Which probably it has to. You know what? I don't know why I put it there. Put the well next to the road, dude. I wonder if that 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 should work. Let's see. Let's speed it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's upgrade. Cultural heritage. Decorative palms are cultural heritage, if you did not know. So we'll build some of these. Waste all of our bread that way. Easy money. There you go. We got some cultural heritage. We're, we're using a lot of our bread. <laughs> I have a feeling this might be bad for us. Uh, we also have a plaza. Really? A plaza? Come on. Let's see, what have we not built? Uh, a fire station? These guys over, over on this side might need a fire station. Although the circle is all the way around, so it should be fine. Oh, looks like we got floods over here. I like that. They still have no workers, though. Uh, I probably need to build some more uh, houses close by. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's continue this road down here. I'm just gonna get some houses nearby. So let's just pump in. Of course, houses cannot be here. But they can be out there. They cannot be here. Uh, maybe because of floods? But if you can be here, I'll take it here, okay? Fine, we'll we'll do it here. Yeah, you don't have a road. Nobody cares about that, dude. We have bought some wares and we paid wages. This is acceptable. Okay, now get the road over here. Yeah, I guess we can't build the houses over here because there's floods. So you guys don't have people in. You'll get people in. Let's build a well nearby. Very well. Well. Uh, we'll drop it... Here. That will do for these houses. There you go, they are upgrading. And now we have uh, farmers. Perfect. They will start producing straw for us. And of course, different types of food. And with straw, then we can start producing over here. There you go, we have straw. We're gonna start. There we go, brick makers are working. Nice. Okay, so now they're buying our wares, I'm guessing. That's why we get money. Because they're buying our bricks. Sweet. This is good. We're paying wages. Barely staying above uh, the line. Oh, yeah, flood these farms. I like this. I really like the fact that there's like the, the seasonal flooding in there. Oh, we have fate related to stuff. Let's give these people a shrine. Why not? Let's uh, build a shrine right there for some bread. You guys can go enjoy yourself at a shrine. How about that? That's, that's pretty sweet. Oh, look at that. That one's level three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the level three ones, yeah, that's that's more like it. That's a place you'd live in, right? Because now they're getting access to food. Now, how's this uh, granary doing? Or this bazaar? Doesn't really have that good of a coverage. We'll have to build one over here, probably, in this side as well. What we can do is uh, continue this row down this way. Let's, let's say... Yeah, that's going to be fine. And... Um, what do you want? Farm, fisheries. Uh, where was that thing, right? Bazaar, granary, stockpile, fire station. Let's get a, gra not a granary. No, no, no. We want a bazaar. And we're gonna drop a bazaar over here. That should cover this area. People should get more food here. And I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get some more houses in here. Yeah? Let's do that. 
some more houses in here. They're gonna be like, yeah, we don't have place to be right now, but that's okay. Oh, look at these. Sweet. Okay, so these ones don't have access to the road, which I should have probably noticed earlier. So how do you get them access to the road, actually? Get rid of that. So this one, I can get access to the road. This one, I guess we would have to do this. So like that. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and uh, build some more farms then. Sure. We'll build another section of the farms. Like this. Like that. Like this. And like that. And we'll build the road down here. There you go. Do you have more farms? Do we have people for it? I think we do. I think we do have uh, extra workers. Uh, this one's going to downgrade because I'm guessing they don't have enough food at the bazaar. The other one has plenty of farms, so it should be, should be good enough. Lots of people coming in here. Taking all the stuff out of here. Are you bringing it to Bazaar or bringing it to the Granary? They're bringing it to the Granary. Look at all the wheat we're piling up. But it's also going to go to the Bazaar. Wheat and fish. I think we should do maybe another fishery. So we can keep up with the food production. You can't put the fishery next to it, can you? you can. Okay, you know what? I understand this is a tutorial like place, but come on. We could at least let us build farms and fisheries wherever we want. But sure, you know. I guess farms and such it is. Uh, let's see if having another granary would help over with this thing. You can't put it in there. You can't put it there, of course, because there's a well. But you also... Having two of these, let's try. Let's go. Are these all level threes? Potentially. We're also almost out of uh, money, by the way. This is full of stuff. A lot of clay is here. Building is full. Okay, I'm guessing more stockpiles would be needed. Do you store bricks as well? We have a lot of straw. A lot of other stuff. Okay. Uh, get me get me a pause over here. So you you buy stuff, right? Yeah, would you would you want to buy some of her bricks? I guess not because they they can't store them. So you store bricks. Let's go ahead and build me a stockpile, which is pretty cheap to build, really. So you're gonna build a stockpile over here. We're gonna say in here don't take and then take bricks i will say take pottery because we're gonna we're gonna make the pottery man as well so let's get that going and uh you should be able to start producing bricks and we can store them in here and then the lady can come and buy them i think that is that's what we want to do, right? Now, if we were to build the pottery thing as well. Harry Potter is not that expensive. So let's put it over here. We have 170 bread left. I think the next wage comes in. We're going to be... Uh, okay, at least we she bought all of the stuff. Yeah, there we go. We have two bread now. <laughs> Oops. Okay, Potter just needs clay and is going to start making pottery. This is acceptable. Uh, I would like to sell... Can I? Can we sell pottery to anybody? Let's go on a region map. Abydos, would you buy pottery from me? They want to buy bricks and clay, so no pottery. We can, I guess, give pottery to my peoples. And these ones we can't even talk to. So never mind. Never mind. Two bread. What happens when you don't, we don't when you don't have bread to give to people? That's a very good question. 
How are you? Brake makers are brake making. Okay, she bought more stuff. Perfect. But she's not buying enough to cover her wages, I don't think. Are you gonna buy clay? Because we have clay. You know? Oh, you know what? Uh, let me pause. You know what you have to do? You have to go... Somewhere. Trade? Yes. Clay? Export. Go. There you go. She's now going to be able to go ahead and buy clay. Okay, we are minus 166. That's fine. Yo, don't come back. Go buy clay. Well, she's gone. Next year, then, she can buy clay. So I'm guessing those might be yearly wages, what are we paying over there? But now, we have bricks and pottery. People can have pottery. Oh, there she comes. Yeah, go buy clay. Right, lady? Okay, she is gonna buy 200 bricks. Good. And she can go buy clay. Buying. Uh, she did buy something, though it doesn't say over here. But we have 700 now. Alright, interesting. It doesn't show on her on her thing that she bought any stuff from us. But yeah, we do have extra stuff. Which is perfect. Very perfect. Now I'm just waiting if there's going to be any fires or something like that. Oh look, wages have been paid. Alas, we still have uh, enough. Which is good, she's coming back. Uh, let's actually see if we can. Uh, we're gonna need more houses. That's that's definitely a thing. That is definitely a thing. How big are you? Not very big. That's what she said. Unfortunately, uh, I just wanted to maybe do another row of houses, like over here. The way these ones have been done, like this. Give them cultural farms, plants, such. No, 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 no. Uh, give me... We'll get a well in here. Oh, look, we are up to 900 bread now. Okay, I guess that exporting stuff is uh, working well. What do you not have? I... Really, we don't have food? You do have some wheat. You do have some wheat. I'm guessing this one might not be distributing enough out there. It's got to be that. Which means we're going to build another administrative building. Another bazaar. Another bizarre bazaar. Let's get it over here. So that should help. I hope. Alright, these guys are leveling up, which is perfect. I'm just going to go... Give them a road around here. Like that. And you can go ahead and uh, write. Definitely didn't want to do that. Give me my bread back. Give me my bread back, I said. Okay, more wares have been awared. Good. I'd say that's pretty good. Let's build these over here. More people move in. They have a well. They might not have bazaars and such, but we'll get to that. It seems that food is not that good. Or just have to get some more farms, probably. In which case, I should have built more houses out here. But we do have 200 residents, which is one of the missions, right? Um, so basically, I just need a lot more bread <laughs> uh, stockpiled up. And then we would be fine. But otherwise, other of these things are acceptable nothing has been set on fire quite yet which is slightly disappointing to me i was hoping something's gonna burn alas doesn't seem to be the case we also seem to have a lot of straw it seems and no clay clay is uh, dropping the production of clay is dropping so we definitely want to go and get another clay pit or two which apparently can only be built here that makes sense. So let's get this. Didn't want to click on you. Come on. Come on. Just get a road in there. There you go. 
You have a road access and all? Yes, yes, good. So that's gonna be more clay. I mean, we could try exporting... I don't know. Straw, but they're not gonna buy it, so... Doesn't matter. She just buys... This stuff. Yeah, a lot of pottery. Wish she would buy pottery. It'd be pretty nice. Let's just quickly check if there's anything we haven't built yet. We have, I think, built everything. Uh, we have built a shrine, yes. We have bazaar, granary, stockpile, and fire station. Uh, we have not built a plaza. So let's go ahead and build a plaza. I wish right-clicking away wouldn't just click on everything. You ever saw. Okay, a plaza for the people right there. Look at that. A beautiful plaza. It's it's gorgeous. And then you put a palm tree next to it. I wonder, can you put it in the middle? No. Of course not. Of course not. Alright. Well, I think this is gonna do for the prologue. Uh, you guys get the idea of how the game plays. Now, of course, this is just the prologue and, you know, you just have a kind of a tutorial mission. So you are very much limited at what's going on. I never check these things. Uh, neighboring city wants straw? Definitely. Go grab it. We have dwellers. Come get straw, dude. We have a lot. Are you the straw man? You're delivering resources and you're full of stuff. And she's the clay lady. Alright, well, in any case, we're going to finish it over here for now. Thank you everybody for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this preview. I'm most likely going to play it once again whenever um, it hits like full release. And the sandbox is available because that's the one I'm really interested in rather than this one. But uh, in any case, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check it out on Steam. You can play it for free right now. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. For now, go crew out.